It's your day, it's a good, good day, it's a good, good day, it's a good, good day. Stretch your stuff, walk it out, do a little twist on it, do it right now. Cause it's your day, it's a good, good day, it's a good, good day, it's a good, good day. Wake up full of purpose, fully blessed. Lights, camera, action, it's my time now. Gotta find peace somewhere, about to go crazy, lose my mind and my hair. I'm just out here living my life. show you guys when you're taking on a new client um you have to the bigger the property it, sometimes it takes time to get familiar with where everything is so this is the master suite we've been cleaning this room forever and let me show you guys something <laughs> we've been dusting this vent right here but if you notice there's another vent. He pointed out that there's another vent on the other side of the room. So if you look at this vent, we overlook this vent the entire time we've been doing the turnovers. So we're going to dust you today and we're going to make sure that we even more familiarize ourselves with the unit. properties to clean today so we don't have a lot of time we're just turning on lights and everything but i gotta get through two properties but we want to give each property a five-star cleaning experience so during your bed breakdown check for hairs collect the hairs during your bed setup re-bedding the unit check for hairs any part of your home cleaning experience of short-term rental as a cleaner check for hairs as you are sweeping your mopping check for hairs <sighs> today is hair day so let me get started and i will be showing you guys again how we put sean's house back together if you guys have any tips on how you collect hairs or and make sure you don't get make sure you don't leave any hairs behind feel free to leave them in the description box below comment below and i look forward to just hearing some of you guys feedbacks so I tuck this side first all the way down and I even take it around. I take the excess sheet and take it around the corner and this should drop down like a flap. Okay, so if you look down the bed, it should look like a flap. You tuck the other side all the way down, round the sheet, flap it. It should look like a flap. We're going to stretch this sheet and try to pull as many wrinkles out because although I have a steamer, I can steam and pull these wrinkles out. When you're cleaning short-term rentals, we don't have time to steam and press every wrinkle out of the bed. So we're going to tight tuck. So um, this is how it should look. The tighter, the better. Every piece of fabric that goes on the bed needs to be stretched and tucked so that it can look neat. So I'm getting ready to tuck this and then I'll show you guys how okay, it looks. So now that we have the bed fully tucked all the way around, do you guys see how neat that looks? Tell me what you guys think. So this is how your bed should look before you put the duvet on there. So I'm getting ready to do the duvet and then I, the bathroom is done. Whew. So this is our bathroom. We got it back together the towels. I'm going to bunch those together. I just hung them, but I'm going to straighten up the towels um, during our final walkthrough. But I just hung them to make sure they were in the right place. But this is my hand towels as well. As you guys can see, I like my towels uniformity. I want to show if your towel, if your short-term rental has a pattern that you want to display, we make sure we fold them so that we can go with the pattern. And we also copy that same pattern design on the other side with the bigger towels. So we want the pattern designs to line up. Now these two, I usually, since I'm right here, I usually put like an inch and a half between the bar and I make sure that they're evenly spaced between this end and that end to the middle. You want your stuff as neat as possible. But look at my shower. 
bathroom and we're getting ready for a restock okay you guys so we are done returned we are done finished with um sean's house and i just want to tell you guys as cleaner one of the most important things as a cleaner is to make sure that you keep this owner's closet this is our trundle bedroom if you do not know how to make bunk beds i will teach you because let me tell you your bunk beds your trundle beds should not be looking sloppy they should look just as good as the other beds this is a children's room by the way so you definitely want to make sure that the children's room the doors wipe them down because y'all know y'all kids at home they touch doors and stuff but i got to go i got a cleaner calling me so i'll be right back you guys so just to show you guys really quickly this is just the overall view of this unit getting it back together you can see every room is very clear you don't see anything on the floors everything in here is in its rightful order except for right here as you can see i told you guys cleaners always leaving their supplies so that's why it is very important to do a final walkthrough inspection for supplies or anything that may be slightly out of place because we do not want to leave i'm sure the guests will be happy that we use we mop the floors however i don't think they want a huge thing of murphy oil soap left on their counters So we're making sure all the lights.